checking the love energy. Thank you, Javelin. Let's like, share, subscribe. If you guys have hit the notification bell, purchase the reading, or donate to my page, thank you. If you have not, please do so that you know when I'm here. This energy could be masculine or feminine, so you place it on whatever side you need to. All right. Spirit is saying some of y'all need to go to church, Aries. You need to connect with the divine. You need to have a sacred place in your house, or you need to be uh, praying, meditating, whatever it is that you need to do. But this is what I'm seeing. It says create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine here with Nematona. You also have high priestess, which is Dana. You have the divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. Okay, this is for some of you. It's not going to resonate with all of you. You've been through an awakening. You have divine um, knowledge that you could share. Some of you are not. Okay, some of you are walking away from your spirituality. You're not paying attention to it or you're not um, complying with what the universe is trying to tell you. This is why they're telling you to reconnect. This is why they're telling you um, that you have to have some sort of sacred space. Oh, okay. All right. Just ladies down. Mm. Okay, so for some of you here, you may have went off and started a new chapter with someone that you felt you had unfinished business with. You may have had a baby with this person in the summertime. This person may have gotten pregnant in the summertime. Mm, for some of you, this person, maybe you guys already have a child that was born in the summertime. Take it how it resonates for you. Um, you felt this person was special, irreplaceable, one of a kind, right? You could have met someone of this nature too, aside from this person for some of you, right? You could have had people that were gossiping about uh, a certain person. Some people that had ill intent here with the spirit of the flocks. People wanted you to do what they wanted you to do, right? Somebody could have been a soulmate. You may have had a lot of passion for this person, right? And there's going to be some sort of disruption in your life, like a tower moment here with the spirit of the wind. You may be trying to figure out how to uh, cause some movement in your life or disruption in someone's life. Or if this is not you, this is your person. For some of you, you may have you may have had a person in your life that you were trying to uh, start a new chapter with, and somebody from your past came back that you felt was irreplaceable, and you may have gotten this person pregnant, right? You may feel like this person is a soulmate too. Right? This person may be gossiping about you right now. You may be gossiping about this person. Right, you, you guys had a sexual based relationship here and there may be some disruption in that right now uh, this may be why you need to reconnect with the divine let's see what it is Aries okay what is this activity movement disruption spirit Aries. Oh, okay. I have cards that just fell on the floor. One minute. Just flew right out my hand. I have the King of Wands. Okay. Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's that baby I was talking about. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. And Six of Cups. Okay, yeah. All right, for me, this Knight of Cups is, uh, excuse me, this Knight of Wands yeah knight of cups i said that for a reason it could be because somebody was being manipulative here right 
absolutely king of wands okay cancer leo energy somebody can have this in their chart this is someone that has a very hot temper right uh, they don't really control it well they go from zero to 100 really really fast whoever this person is um could be a bit of a man whore or a person that likes to have sexual freedom I have the Ace of Wands. Somebody could have went out and had a baby or created a child from them um, having that one night stand with someone here. Okay, with this Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this could absolutely be a one night stand here for someone or some sexual encounter that you had with someone. Um, some sort of Knight of Passion with someone that you thought was a soulmate. Knight of Cups energy is Aquarius or Pisces, right? This is someone that uh, brought in a romantic gesture into your life or you brought a romantic gesture into theirs. You're offering a cup of love to someone here that resulted in a child. Um, you followed your heart to this person. You could have been dating um but somebody here was emotionally shallow i also have page of wands this would have been somebody that felt like they needed to explore their possibilities okay maybe walking away from a person to explore someone else this could have been that energy because someone felt the love and the romance coming from another person other than the person that they were with with six of cups they could have had nostalgia for this person this could have been someone from someone's childhood as well Scorpio energy also if this is not that you know it's not the nostalgia from a person or a reunion with the person from your childhood or someone that you knew when you were younger old friendships or this could also be emotional healing for someone take how it resonates what is this passion creativity sparks for Aries nine of cups yep you had passion for someone that you thought was um your end all be all nine of cups this is your happiness this is your fulfillment you thought that they were going to bring everything in that you needed or that you wanted into your life and this is why you took a chance all right what is this grace elegance and poise spirit of the swans the soulmate card what is it spirit Right? You're having disruption with this person right now, right? Yeah, this is a reunion with someone from your past. This could have been a soulmate. Like I said here, here's a clarifier here. This is what's, what's verifying what I said, validating four of wands, okay? This is uh, Aries energy, right? We're in Aries right now, right? You're in Aries. This is a possible marriage that you had with someone or wanted to. You guys could have possibly wanted to marry someone if you weren't married or this person wanted to marry you but this is a reunion that you had with someone from your past okay gossip rivals posse what is it rivals posse for aries okay queen of wands yep you had here the, the this is another woman right they're talking about you in a third party situation queen of wands is here so this is someone else that you had pisces aries energy also you could have had um more than one person or more than one option or if this is not you this is your person you had a, a strong assertive sexy woman that may have come after you and this is who you walked off with. What is special, irreplaceable, one of a kind? Queen of Pentacles, right? You also have another queen here, right? Somebody that you give your money to, which is probably the wife, okay? Somebody that, uh, <laughs> this is the person that's spending your money, Queen of Pentacles. Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. Or you could have had someone that empowered this energy okay because they they took care of their finances financially independent this could have been the person either this person 
with someone that you uh, felt like you guys were on the same page financially or that you could have been trying to give to them financially or you may have liked the fact that this person was financially independent and wasn't in your pockets like that this person could be a healer this person could uh, have healing properties or have a healing business um, yeah it's not going to resonate with everyone what is this luck and abundance in summer Yep, the emperor energy. Yep. Somebody took control of their life. They felt like they were going to be in control of a situation. It's emperor. You guys are showing up in your reading, Aries. This is emperor energy. Right? I see an emperor with more than one female here. Right? I have... You could have had three or more. I have um, fire signs. I have water signs. And earth signs here. Okay. Somebody may be older um, than their person. Somebody is really, really... Um, They, they may be financially stable or may be craving financial stability, okay, are working towards it here with this empress, excuse me, emperor. <laughs> Why do I keep saying empress? That's like the second time I did that. That just clarifies to me that somebody's married. Thank you, spirit. Okay, what is this new chapter, development? somebody that maybe has a job where they work for schools or the government or someone that commands respect as well some sort of structure okay right again new chapter development unfinished business is seven of swords right this is this is what someone walked off they they walked off in the middle of the night towards someone else it's this aries individual so aries left <laughs> to uh to do what they wanted to do with multiple people okay this is what i'm saying this is why the divine wants you to reconnect you could be reaping um some karma from this seven seven of swords and the emperor please for aries yeah the star right aquarius energy you might have aquarius in your chart Right, this is um, someone that does not let go of relationships or may need to let go of relationships. I'm feeling like this Aries holds um, connections with people from their past, okay? May not want to let go. The star card comes in, and this is uh, Aquarius energy. It's like someone's needing to let go of the baggage, okay? Someone also could be in a relationship with an Aquarian or someone with that in the charts, right? This is uh, someone maybe trying to figure out how to get a, uh, a relationship to progress in the way that they would like for it to. Someone may want a relationship to heal based on how they treated someone. They may want to come back to this person and heal something. Okay, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Give me what is that? These two women here. What do I need to know? Are these Empress. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. I said Empress earlier. I knew it. Okay? Yeah. There's a wife here. There's a wife and a few mistresses. Okay? Is what I'm seeing. You guys place it on whatever side that you need to, whether, whether it's masculine or feminine. But yeah, someone, there's an Emperor and an Empress here. Two Queens, right? Um, I see someone in King. I see a uh, Knight as well. Yeah, this is a lot going on. This is why the divine wants you to reconnect. Use your, uh, wants to use the knowledge that you have. You may have the power of gab. You may have the power of manipulation. And spirit wants you to connect so that you can start to elevate. So that you can start to ascend and use uh, your greatness in a spiritual manner. Okay? Use, use it towards your spiritual path. 
All right, I'm going to leave it here. Aries, I'm sending you love, sending you light. Bottom of the deck is Nine of Wands. Okay, this is Sagittarius. You could feel like you want to fight for Sagittarius. You don't want to give up. Okay, you want to be persistent in, you know, something of that nature. Or you may have a Sagittarius around you that doesn't want to work things out with you. Okay, All right? They're going to be guarded. All right? They're strong. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. Y'all take care.